Hello dear students and friends. Welcome to Royce and Creations YouTube channel. In this video let us analyze how to score 80 marks in science. So I already explained in Canada medium. So many students you asked ma'am please you explain in English medium. Already I have uploaded how to score 80 marks that is passing package also I have uploaded. Again the Canada what I am given now the same thing I am translating to English. So in science you have to concentrate more on diagrams. Why because you are getting 16 marks from diagram. So you have to concentrate already I have given diagrams in the video. So it's very very important because diagrams carry 16 marks. So concentrate and learn all the diagrams and along with the parts because parts is also very very important. The second thing is you have to concentrate on carbon and its compound. Why because I am selecting carbon and its compound means because in that chapter for four marks molecular formula and structural formula they are going to ask. So easily you can score four marks because if you are learning molecular formula easily you can write structural formula. See there you can see alkane, alkene, alkynes which is having single bond, double bond, triple bond. So if you are understanding these things so easily you can write molecular formula and structural formula. So very very important. So the next thing you should concentrate on problems. Why? Because problems carry 8 marks. So in that the compulsory problems the first one is find focal length of a convex lens. They are given radius of curvature. By using the radius of curvature you are going to calculate focal length. This question they asked in model question paper also and also in the straight level preparatory. So there if you know the relationship between R and F easily you can score 2 marks because they are going to ask find the focal length of a convex lens has radius of curvature 6 cm, 5 cm. This is the question. So very easy. This question is compulsory. They are going to ask for final exam also. So concentrate this question. So there you are going to use the formula R is equal to 2F. So they are given R. So easily you are going to find out the focal length. Second question is find nature, size of the image and magnificence of the image. So it's very very important to, because they are going to ask for 2 to 3 marks for this question. So you are using lens formula you are going to find the nature, size of the image and magnificence. So you know the lens formula 1 by f is equals to 1 by v plus 1 by u. So by using this formula you are going to calculate the nature of the image or magnificence of the image. So very very important question compulsory from the light chapter they are going to ask this question. So concentrate on this question and you practice. Without practice you cannot score how to out. So practice is very very important. Third question problems based on electric power. So based on electric power they are going to ask there you are using P is equals to V into I. So you know the electric power formula by using that you are going to calculate. So that that may be comes for your exam. Fourth question the total resistance and current flowing in a circuit. So this is also they are going to ask because from model question paper and from the straight level question paper you can see this question find out the total resistance and current flowing in the circuit. So you can use their parallel and series formula and sometime e easily you can use Ohm's law. Directly by using the Ohm's law you can going to find out the current and also you can going to find out the resistance. So don't forget this question. The next important question is solve using Joule's eating laws of effect. So in the, the in the state level exam they are given by using the Joule's eating law you are going to find the problem. So this problem so what I have given the five problems are very very important out of five problems four problem is compulsory. So in this types of question you have to practice thoroughly. The next one is write balanced chemical equation very very important three marks question will be there for balanced chemical equation you should learn balancing equation how to balance it before going to balance you should know the valency of each 
different elements if you know the valency of each element so easily you can balance the chemical equation so they are given the word by using the word you have to write in the chemical form so don't forget this because very very important because this balanced chemical equation they will ask from chemical equation chapter and maybe acid base and salts or maybe metals and non metals in that also some of the uh, equations are there so practice thoroughly practice 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 makes man perfect so the next one is electronic dot structure maybe for two marks they will ask we cannot say 100% electronic dot structure will be there because for model question paper they have given so uh, magnesium chloride but in the state level question paper they are not given electronic dot structure but you concentrate because they will ask for two marks the next is very very important salts molecular formula and its uses in the state level also they asked in the model question paper also is there for two marks so you should learn chemical for molecular formula along with that uses of the salt see now i have given bleaching powder molecular formula cao cl2 washing soda molecular formula na2co3 baking soda nahco3 plaster of paris caso4 half h2o so if you know the molecular formula is very very important because molecular formula will carry one marks and uses will carry one marks so easily you can score two marks from the salt okay so learn molecular formula along with its uses the next one is for one marks endocrine glands and their hormones see for one marks they are going to ask this question so here i have given the glands thyroid gland pituitary gland adrenaline insulin testosterone estrogen so this is the human hormones they we have six hormones the uh, gland i have given from that hormones will secrete what is the function of that hormone so don't forget you how to learn because they will ask for one marks because four marks will carry for brain brain diagram is very very important that will for four marks and remaining one marks may be for thyroid or pituitary or any glands based on the endocrine gland they will ask the functions of the hormone and plants hormone and its function that is also for one marks so here i have given five hormones auxin gibberellin cytokines abscic acid and ethylene so here we i have given five hormones and function of its hormone is very very important they will ask for one mark so concentrate on this already i have given in the 80 how to score 80 but even though you asked many times ma'am please you explain in english so again i have explained in english the same thing the next one is questions from heredity three marks compulsory for three marks they will ask for the from the heredity chapter so there you should concentrate on mono hybrid cross experiment with the checkerboard di hybrid with checkerboard and sex determination in human beings so these three concepts are very very important it's 100% in your final examination paper these questions will be there so practice next one breakdown of glucose by various pathways maybe for three marks they will ask because in the model question paper they asked this question but in the state level question paper it is not there but you concentrate on this also the next one is important loss see very very important why see i am given important loss because if you learn these loss they may ask for definition they may ask for differences so they may ask the function of dynamo or function of motor so it is very very easy so you should concentrate on ohm's law then joule's law of heating Fleming's left hand rule that is a dynamo it is working on the basis of Fleming's left hand rule Fleming's right hand rule for motor and Dobereyn's laws of triads so you should learn laws also and there you have to concentrate on limitation and also uses of Dobereyn's law both also you should learn because they may ask for write the limits of mendeleev's periodic law or write the limits of newland's uh, newland's law of octaves or limits of uh, dobereyn's law of triads so you concentrate on laws and along with the merits and demerits of the these laws 
so newland laws of octave and mendeleev's periodic law modern periodic law the next one is very very important that is laws of reflection of light along with that laws of refraction of light so these laws are very very important so concentrate the next thing is differences they may ask for 2 to 3 marks or 4 marks two question they may ask for differences write the differences between homologous and analogous argon see if you learn differences you can write definition also maybe ask they will ask for definition see they will uh, in this state level question paper they asked corrosion oxidation and reduction also they asked so if you learn differences it is useful for definition or it it will use for some other to score the marks so first one is saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons homologous and analogous argon oxidation and reduction concave and convex mirror concave and convex lens dynamo and motor corrosion and rancidity exothermic and endothermic ac dynamo and dc dynamo so concentrate these thing then it is very easy to score the next is important terms for one marks so the important terms will comes from electricity chapter and light chapter there you can see number of terms so concentrate and the yes, si unit si unit is very very important in electricity also in the and also in the light chapter also si units are there so learn the terms and si units and the next one is the definitions see i have given only four or five i given catenization hamphoteric acid fertilization solenoid so many definitions are there one marks so that is very easy so if you learn these things easily you can score 60 to 70 marks the remaining question if you want to score 80 marks in the science you should concentrate on textbook and along with the notes given by your teacher so i cannot say you can score 80 out of 80 from this so because all the questions are i have not given but the important questions i have given in the video so the remaining marks if you want means you have to concentrate your textbook if you are watching our channel first time please subscribe and share to your friends thank you for watching this video and all the best for your exam